Hello Dubai, hello Genesis XPT. I'm Paolo Arduino, I'm the CEO at Tether, and uh, today I want to give you a little bit of an introduction to Tether, our main products, for example, USDT, and uh, what uh, we are planning for the future and what are the exciting projects we are working on. So let's start from a little bit of history. Um, USDT, our main product, uh, the first stablecoin in history was launched in 2014, nine years ago. And um, the simple reason of um, the existence of USDT was um, helping arbitrageurs and the emerging crypto markets to become more efficient. The, the idea behind uh, USDT is very simple. At the time, 2014, Bitcoin was attracting a lot of interest. Um, and uh, many exchanges were, um, were growing. Bitfinex, Opicoin, um, Coinbase, Bitstamp, Kraken. But um, it was very difficult to move uh, fiat money, like US dollars, across all these exchanges. And in this way, facilitate the work or, of arbitrageurs. The arbitrageurs are the traders that uh, sell Bitcoin on the exchange where the price is higher take the dollars that are of the result of the sale, move the dollars on the exchange where the price of Bitcoin is lower, buy Bitcoin on that exchange, then move the, the, the Bitcoin back on the exchange where the price is higher and so on and so forth. So this is a normal process that is um, you know, quite common in traditional finance and uh, started to become more and more common uh, in, in crypto, uh, among cryptocurrency exchanges and, um, and, and cryptocurrency traders. Problem is that if you were trying in 2014 to move the dollars from one exchange to another, it was taking ages, was taking days, um, and the arbitrage opportunity was long gone. So the really simple idea uh, behind the USDT was let's put a dollar on a blockchain. Blockchains were uh, popular thanks to Bitcoin, one of the greatest innovations of our time. And um, uh, US dollars were and are still the most used currency in the world. So really the, the, um, the solution um, was at our fingertips. And so since 2014, Tether grew and, and became first the most used uh, currency across all the cryptocurrency exchanges. Basically every single exchange today has USDT pairs and they are the ones that have higher liquidity uh, more trading volume and so on. But since the last two, three years, especially, you know, uh, starting with the pandemic, something changed in um, the micro macroeconomics and in, in the geopolitics. For sure, the pandemic initiated a process that um, have seen um, this changing happening everywhere in the world, including um, communities, entire countries seeing their national currency devaluating really quickly against the US dollar. So for this reason, more and more communities in such countries, in emerging markets and developing countries, they have started to see more and more interest in having exposure to the dollar and reduce the exposure to their national currency. And since in many countries, the access to the US dollar is not easy, it's not straightforward, it's quite limited, people just turn to USDT as uh, the best proxy for, for the dollar. And so Tether grew uh, really rapidly in the last few years. Today, um, Tether has a market cap of $87 billion and is we are counting um, its use among around 300 million users across you know, all the different blockchains and all the different exchanges that are supporting USDT. This is exciting. This is, um, I think, a way to demonstrate that USDT and Tether products can, in fact, solve one of our of the biggest problems of that uh, that our world has in this moment, and is a more difficult and less inclusive access to financial services. We all know that there are three to four billion people in this world that are unbanked. They don't have a fair access to financial services, not because they are bad people simply because they are too poor to be of interest of any bank. 
And so USDT is giving them a lifeline, is giving them a utility, is giving them a way to save their family savings against the, the, the valuation of their national currency. Is giving them a way to, to pay people, is giving a way to, to receive um, small loans as well, right? So it's, the opportunities are infinite and we are really proud that our product that started from nothing, from a really simple idea, is changing many, many lives around the world. Since then, um, Tether never stopped dreaming about a bigger future for itself, but also for its community. Tether, as we all know, is mostly known for, for USDT and its other stable coins like Tether Gold and uh, Tether Mexican Pesos and Tether Euro. But um, we, are technologists at heart and also we are believers in bitcoin and the importance of bitcoin in um, in the world and we believe that uh, bitcoin in order to be fully decentralized and, and unstoppable and beatable it needs also to rely on decentralized bitcoin mining so we um, recently started to look at uh, bitcoin mining and um, energy production, renewable energy production, as two categories, two markets in which Tether could be of impact. So um, we started, of course, to look at uh, a, 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 a renewable energy production because we wanted to showcase how companies involved in Bitcoin have the highest interest of reinvesting part of their profits in increasing um, a sustainable energy production for everyone to benefit and also to foster Bitcoin mining. And um, we also um, recently announced that uh, Tether has been involved in uh, big different Bitcoin mining opportunities, starting from uh, El Salvador with Volcano Energy, Uruguay and Paraguay. The approach of uh, Tether to Bitcoin mining is, uh, I think, uh, quite sophisticated and new. Uh, we have seen, we have seen in last year, in 2022, many Bitcoin miners suffering from uh, the crash of Bitcoin prices. And uh, that, uh, in my opinion, showed a little bit of uh, poor risk management uh, from uh, Bitcoin miners that didn't properly hedge themselves from the risk of, uh, of, of Bitcoin prices going down. Of course, we all know that Bitcoin miners are paying electricity and paying uh, for, for the new equipment, the new hardware in US dollar terms. And so <clears throat> more and more, we, are, we have seen Bitcoin miners uh, coming to us for, for help. In order for Tether to be comfortable in, 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 uh, in investing, in starting to invest in Bitcoin mining and, and the renewable energy production, we wanted to go through the exercise of understanding the sector really well. We are not the type of uh, VCs that you know, simply throw money to a category um, hoping to have an ICE yield. Of course, you know, having a return is really important, but we took the time to really understand the market really well and really understand Bitcoin mining as from the operational point of view really well. So we started, we contacted all the biggest uh, hardware producers um you know the the old and most notable ones and also the less notable we all we took the time to form a team that could start operations and lead operations directly within tether to properly go in the in the details in depth of the complexity of running bitcoin mining operations we took the time to build one of the best products for Bitcoin miners in the market called Moria or, or the Lord of the Ring Fangs. Now, um, Moria is a beautiful tool because is a way is almost considering, is almost saying like Bitcoin mining is Internet of Things. Bitcoin mining is not just a simple operation where you plug some miners and uh, you are watching the, your hash rate and uh, going up and then enjoying the returns from uh, from the block rewards. Bitcoin mining is a sophisticated process. It's a process that involves tens of thousands of, of miners if you have a big facility, involves tens of or uh, hundreds of thousands of sensors 
both in, in the Bitcoin miners themselves, but also in the ambient, in the environment, right? You could have containers. Containers themselves have tunnel sensors, have, are fully automatized. The, um, the production facility for energy as well, you know, the inverters, the sensors for, for the light, for the wind, everything is producing data. So is I see Bitcoin mining as a huge internet of things environment. And so that's why we created, we spent months to build uh, a beautiful tool, Moria, um, as I said, that gathers all that information from every single sensor, from the smallest the smallest sensor to the biggest component in the, in the Bitcoin mining facility and, and, and renewable energy production facilities to and aggregate everything together and allows the Bitcoin miner operators and the energy production operators to have a full control panel that allows them to interact from, from the control room, to interact with every single data point and interact with every single API that is offered by, by, this, by the miners, by the containers, by the inverters and everything. So that from, from a single control panel, you can have full control uh, of reading the information and also adjusting the different parameters that are coordinating and controlling the entire facility. So I think this is a beautiful exercise that shows that, again, Tenor is not just a liquidity provider. It's, it's a company that before entering a spa in, in a particular space is actually dedicating a lot of resources to understand, really, understand this space really well. And uh, beyond that, um, I'd like to also mention that uh, outside of Tender Power, that is this uh, initiative that um, includes Bitcoin mining and renewable energy production, that are also started to fund and actually co-funded a beautiful project called Hole Punch. That is um, a project that aimed to, to take a BitTorrent technology, improve it for the last five years and use it to make it available for real-time communications. And so, uh, Hole Punch is actually um, the one of the projects that I really suggest to everyone to look at it. By the way, Moria, the the, the control system for miners and and uh, Bitcoin mining environments, is actually based on Hole Punch. And this Internet of Things uh, solution that we build is based on Hole Punch. And the first actual real market product that we built with the Hole Punch world is Keet. K E E T. dot I O is the website and showcase how Tether keeps contributing to the mission of Bitcoin, the original mission of Bitcoin of creating freedom for people and empowering people. So I, I just want to leave you my message of thinking about Tether as a sort of um, company, a company that is fully dedicated to financial freedom, freedom of speech, and giving back to Bitcoin and its fundamental value. Thank you very much, everyone.